Hey guys, this is Rodeska and I'm coming to you with some extra tips inside of ZBrush for fiber mesh and this will be going over how to create hair textures really fast and also um, how you can manipulate the hair using the deformers. Um, so hopefully you guys will get some use out of this video and I, I kind of wanted to do this video before I forgot um, but it's something that I just literally found out um, while streaming. I was just kind of playing around and I found out some things. So I really hope you guys get some use out of it. And uh, if you do, please leave a like. And uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, again, please leave them down below. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, um, and this is going to be going over um, adding hair and, and making a hair texture. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a cube and we're going to just scale that down uh, roughly around that amount. We're also going to get rid of the floor plane by clicking this button or you can hit shift P on your keyboard to get rid of that and this is already nicely um, subdivided so we have a little bit of resolution going on here with this but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask and it doesn't have to be like a perfect circle so I'm just going to create a mask and this is where our fibers are going to grow from and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our fiber mesh menu and we're going to hit preview now, as you can see with the back face masking on uh, or off we're getting um, hair on the other side we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're just going to clear the mask from the top side just like that so now we only have it on the bottom and we're just going to hit preview again and you can see that now we have our hair on the bottom so we're going to go to our modifier tab and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the base is white and the tip is white and uh, this is specific for a reason and uh, we'll go over that in just a second we're also going to change up the area to be a lot larger and we're going to turn down the max fibers um, this is not going to be any specific kind of hair uh, so you know it doesn't really matter uh, what you do with it, but we're going to turn up the length. If you're, especially if you're making long hair, you can turn up the length. We can then turn up the segments to about 20 to get more resolution in our hair. And we're also going to turn down the coverage a little bit to make it thinner. And if you want to, you can also change the profile to about like three to get kind of like a more tube shape. Um, again, this is this doesn't matter um, in terms of because you're not going to be using this to actually you know, comb hair. So I'm just going to turn up the segments to about 10. If you have a slow computer, I don't recommend this, but I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to turn down the coverage a bit more so that we make thinner um, strands. We're also going to turn down the max fiber because we want to make it kind of like better, better looking. It's a little too thin, so we'll just turn that back up. There's really no gray area with this, is there? All right, that's that's a little bit. That's still too thin, so let's turn it up again. And I think that's pretty okay. All right, so we're also going to make sure that the gravity is all the way up, so that our hairs are going straight down. And just to make sure we have everything. All right, so now what we can do is we can also go by mask and just play around with a couple of these settings. It really doesn't matter if you find any settings that you are particular, um, you can do it that way. Um, but honestly, I'm just gonna leave it at about two coverage and uh, you can change all of these and just you know play around with those. So now what we're gonna do is, oops. There we go, just make sure everything is back the way it was. I accidentally clicked on something and I don't know what I clicked on, so. Yeah. We're gonna hit accept. And that's gonna bring us into fast preview mode. So there's two things that you can do inside of fast preview mode. Let's also go back up and make sure that we turn off our cube so that it's not getting in the way. Um, and this is gonna be our hair texture. So one of the things that you could do is you could start right away and you can use this. And the cool thing about this is that you can also um, change dynamically the um, preview settings so you can sit there and you can be like well we don't want we don't want it to be that many right so you can change it to about that low and you can use this for you know creating the thinner um, hair that overlays but first what we're going to do is we're going to change that all the way to 100 and we're going to turn this into a flat shaded color just like this and this is going to be our alpha masking 
So there's a couple of things that you can do with this, um, especially if you're like making curly hair or if you're making wavy hair or whatever, you can use the deformers. So if we go in here and we actually um, use our gizmo, we can go into our bend curve and we can change that in any direction that we want. And then we can sit here and we can kind of get some waves going in here. And maybe if we want some tapering, we can also do some tapering as well. We can change that lower. Right? Maybe we also want to reuse it from this angle. So I'm just going to taper it low right here. The cool thing is that it's still active. And let's say we want that, but let's say we want some sort of new unique shape. So we're going to hit accept, and you can see that our preview, our visuals are still active, right? So it's really awesome. And we can also use the deformer hard. And we can go in here and change the shape of this as well. And it's still active. So however you want to, however you want to make the shape, we can go in here and we can do this. And we can grab these them up and uh, this actually works better with the deformer soft so if you go in here and you change the deformer soft something like that and then you were to grab these and then you can change it and you can see that it's making a nice little fall off um, so you can sit there and you can change this this is also good if you're you're doing this for characters as well so if you're actually grooming this hair you can use the deformers to groom this and you can see that everything is still active so we're not going to do anything like that. Um, we want to actually make hair uh, textures. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down to about, let's say right about here, and let's see if that's actually good. And then we can turn off our fast preview. Fast preview is going to allow us to get thicker hair. Um, and then what we can do is we can just kind of drag that over to the side, go up to our document, go into our uh, little Thing right here box right here that says back and we can change that to a black color which will be the first default option that you have available in your palette or your uh, your colors right down here so you shouldn't have a problem with that um, and then what you can do is you can either keep the document this size or you can go up to your document go to turn off project or uh, excuse me constrain proportions and change this to like 4096 uh, 4096 by 4096 hit resize that's going to resize the document and it's going to make it larger and you have to zoom out in order to see it so wherever your wherever this box this black box is is where you should be dragging your um, hair so you want to redrag that out hit control n to get rid of the and now what we're going to do is we're just going to place that one in there. So as you can see, now we have this. We can hit Shift S. And we can go in here, change it to the side. Shift S. Change it to this side. If I can get it proper. Something like that. Shift S. And if you want, you can also still groom these because they're still active. So you can go in here. Change this down, and you can also still groom these. So go into your G. Hair long. As you can see, you can still groom it. So whatever you want to do to make your textures. And then what you want to do after that is you want to go to your um, texture, grab dock, and then as you can see, it's going to grab those. And this is only for the alpha. Um, unfortunately, if you want to render this out, um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to duplicate this and as a subtool, and I believe you can't do that unless you um, create it as a tool and then append it. So if we duplicate this, I believe what this is going to do is, I think it might actually get rid of the fiber mesh settings. I'm not entirely sure. Or not. Or maybe it does entirely sure Let's see hold on let's see something 
See, there's this one. And then. That's interesting. Yeah, that's what's weird about it is that this one shows up, but it, I don't know. Oh, here we go. It's because I had that one activated. All right. So, yeah. I guess you can duplicate these. Let's see. Fiber mesh. So, yeah, we can duplicate these and we can get different, um, different fiber meshes. So, here's this one. And we can duplicate it again. Get a different one. Shift-Control-D to duplicate that. Get a different one and, and put it over here. I mean, put it put it over there with a the gizmo, you know, because uh, obviously moving it around in this space isn't going to do anything. But once you once you do that, you can actually go in and change it to a normal map, and then you want to go to your document size and grab a neutral normal map color something like that. I usually pick from this uh, material directly because it just looks better. And we can use this to, you know, get our normals. Um, but again, you're going to have to duplicate these because um, if you clear, if you change the material, it's not, it's not, it's only going to change it for the one that's active. So you have to duplicate these and then you have to use the gizmo. So if we use the gizmo, we have to move it. Um, and once we do that, we have to control shift D and then we have to move it, control shift D and then we have to move it and change the settings and comb it. So that's essentially what you have to do in order to get your textures. Um, so that's for the normal map and the mask. Um, so yeah, uh, you can also change in your, your settings if you're doing like a um, flat color. If you're doing a flat color, um, Then if you want to, not entirely sure as to what's going on with that. It's not taking any color. Maybe it's because I need to fill that. There we go. Let's see. You go to flat color again, and there we go. So if you want to do um, color, you're going to have to fill it up with a flat material, and then fill it up with a color and then um, do the same thing, um, duplicate it and then turn off the poly painting, change the material, basically all of the stuff that you would normally do if you were changing the materials and colors to your stuff. So yeah, um, essentially that's what uh, I found out. I think it's pretty cool that you can do that. I did not know that and I hope that you guys uh, enjoy this little piece of information and it hopes, uh, helps you make uh, hair textures a lot quicker. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, have a great day guys.